These are why I'm trying Kindle Vela. Hello everyone, Michael here. A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about Amazon's upcoming brand new Kindle Vela platform and why I thought it had a lot of potential. Well, obviously I need to put my money where my mouth is. So I just spent the last few days working on a brand new short story that features Lance Brody, who is the main character from the primary series that I write. And I'm gonna be publishing that story exclusively on Kindle Vela once that platform goes live in the next few months, hopefully. But before I talk about how I approached writing a story in episodic fashion, which is the way Kindle Vela is being marketed, I did want to talk a little bit about why I'm choosing to start my Vela publishing experience with a short story and not something longer like a novella or a novel. First, novels take a lot longer to write, plain and simple. You're looking at a handful of months versus just a few days or a week that it might take you to write a short story. But on top of that, they're also a lot more expensive to produce by the time you factor in paying for your professional edits, uh, getting a professional cover designed, and then all the money you might spend on advertising to build up that book for pre-orders or post-release or whatever you're gonna do to generate sales. It's a lot of time and it can be a lot of money. So to me, writing a full length novel and spending all that time and all those resources on something that you're gonna to submit to, as of right now, basically an unproven test environment where us as authors still aren't really sure or clear what the payouts are gonna look like from Amazon, it just seemed like too much a risk and it's not one that I'm really willing to take right now when I know that if I take a traditional novel and publish it on the regular Kindle store, I'm more than likely gonna see a return on investment. So to me, with my current situation, it just makes a lot more sense to test out Kindle Vela with a short story. But there's more to it than that. You see, I've already got two short stories that I've written that are part of my main Lance Brody series. One of them is about 12,000 words and the other one is about 15,000 words. And both of them are priced the same at 99 cents for the ebook version and both of them cost $4.99 for the paperback version. The only other difference between the two, other than the word count, is that one of them is available in Kindle Unlimited and one of them isn't. And believe it or not, so far in all of 2021, both of those books have earned me almost exactly the same amount of money. The one that's in Kindle Unlimited got me a whopping $17 more than the one that isn't. But what these two short stories have done already is basically give me a really clear baseline of data to know how short stories can perform both in the traditional Kindle store and also if they're in Kindle Unlimited. So hopefully after having a short story in Kindle Vela for a couple months, I'll be able to compare some of this data and see which platform is hopefully clearly the winner in terms of which one I should continue to publish short stories on, if either one of them at all. Right now, there's very little incentive to publish short stories other than just to get the idea out of my head and hopefully Kindle Vela can change that. For me, it's really gonna come down to two things in helping to decide which platform to continue with. It's gonna be revenue generated and also maybe new readership gained. If all of a sudden I start seeing people that are maybe brand new to eBooks because they're coming into the Kindle Vela platform, start to migrate their way over to the traditional Kindle store and becoming a fan of my work there, that could be a potential really large upside to again, keep putting work out on Kindle Vela. Oh, and I'm also going to be keeping a really close eye on what other people are publishing on Vela, specifically those that are going to be publishing longer works like full-length novels. I want to see how things go for them. Hopefully I can talk to some of them, see what kind of luck they're having. But truth be told, until Vela actually launches, we really just don't know anything and everything is just speculation up until now. So now that I've talked about why I'm publishing a short story on Kindle Vela, I want to tell you a little bit about how I approached actually writing that story in a little bit of a different format. Honestly, writing a short story in episodes really wasn't that difficult. Just take away the word episode and replace it with chapter, and you'll see where I'm going with this. In fact, the last Lance Brody short story that I wrote, I actually did break it into chapters instead of just using section breaks making one long document. They were just shorter chapters. You almost kind of look at it um, from the mindset of taking the novel writing perspective and just shrinking it down to the micro level. However, there was one really big and important thing that I tried to keep in mind when I started writing my story for Kindle Vela. You see, from what we've been told so far, Amazon is gonna let readers read the first three episodes of every story completely free. And then if they wanna continue on, then they'll start spending their tokens to unlock episodes. So as authors, as of right now, we can only assume that if the reader is paying absolutely nothing to read those first three episodes, 
we're probably going to get paid absolutely nothing for them to read those episodes. So going into the story, I just basically kept the mindset of two things for writing those first three episodes. A, I wanted to make them as engaging as possible. That way the reader would want to rush through them and then hopefully continue on to read the rest of the story. And I also wanted to keep them short. Amazon's telling us that episodes can range anywhere from 600 to 5,000 words. And then the amount of tokens that a reader has to spend to unlock future episodes is going to be dependent on word count. The longer the episode, the more tokens they have to spend. So clearly from a business perspective, you want those early episodes to be shorter and then the later episodes to be longer. My story ended up being 10 episodes, which was done on purpose because I just thought it was a nice even number. And here's what those episode word counts looked like. So you see the first three episodes are the shortest and then the episodes get longer, reaching their highest word count for episode nine. The way I see it, if I've done my job right and written an engaging story, a reader who gets that far is not gonna hesitate to spend their tokens to read more. The only other couple things to note is that each episode has to have its own title, which was kind of interesting and kind of fun to come up with as I was writing. Don't really know that this matters a whole lot. But the other really interesting thing is that Kindle Vela stories don't have a traditional cover. Your normal, you know, rectangular image with the title of the book and then the author's name. There's none of that with Vela. It's basically just a standalone image that is supposed to convey what type of story the reader is getting. I think that's actually how Amazon worded it somewhere on the document that they've sent us, which is kind of strange. I don't know if this is going to hurt or help discovery, if it's going to kind of level the playing field and separate, you know, authors that have a fantastic cover in the traditional Kindle store versus a mediocre cover. I don't know what that's going to do in terms of inflicting like click through rate and stuff like that. But again, like everything else with Vela, only time will tell. So that is it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Once I get my story up on Vela and see how things go, I will definitely be making a video to follow up and let you know what I've seen so far. Um, and if you're planning on publishing anything on Kindle Vela, please let me know down in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for future videos and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.